Hi dear viewers, this is R.S. Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session, we made the adding section of the user to the group. In this session, we are going to prepare the settings. All right, first I go to the HTML and remove the editing section. This part doesn't need any editing. The user either exists in the group or not. And essentially we won't be needing to edit any part of this page. Okay, so now to delete, the first thing I need to do is to make the function, the associated function for deleting in the view. All right, I make a function in the view and now uh, like the add function that we just made we call it del for deleting all right now i should see what options i am going to need first i need a pk and then i'm going to need the name of the user okay uh, the name that has been set for it in the former occasion we used the if request method equals post because we were dealing with form but now we aren't dealing with form so we can send the name for it we have the pk we use the pk but we need to send the name as well so i add the name okay the url I make a URL for this function instead of adding to a group I say del group and then here it needs to become del user and here it would be del user a name would be set over here we need name and we set a name here I get a pk and a name all right let's see i need to send these to this function this function here name equals cc dot name the name of the group equals the name of the group any of the records and i say pk equals pk okay all right now i send the pk and the name is being sent okay but here it is not cc.name here it has been sent as an array and the array is a single value cc the name's value therefore is cc okay it is a single value array there is a value in each field that we made ourselves that's why name also equals cc now we connected the buttons to the function all right we don't have if request in the function or right. we need to take some steps here we need the groups we say group dot object dot get name equals the name that we receive here it is not necessary we are not going to need it so we remove it because we don't have any post message okay and this needs to move a step back all right and because we remove the if we say find a group based on the name that you received and the user based on pk and find thereafter the username and here instead of add we just need to say remove we say remove and again we redirect to the group users list I refresh I delete test 2 test 2 is deleted now now I can add a group to the user or remove one group from it as I wish I can make a group or delete it that's what we have done up to here okay as I said we are moving forward step by step but it is up to you which one you choose 
either group or the permissions or you can just choose both of them now on the next step we are going to use the group in the view or in the templates